Morning everyone. It's great to see you all together this morning. Very excited. We have got loads of advent calendars round about the school and I have to tell you I have noticed some particularly naughty elves round and about who've been doing all sorts of things. I've seen him on the bunting. I've seen one of the elves climbing a tree in room two and he's called Elvis, you know. Room nine had a letter from their elf and they've been writing letters back. So lots of excitement. And as one of the primary six girls put it, lots of magic in our school just now. And that's just lovely to hear. So welcome. And we're going to have a lovely assembly. Enjoy looking at all of the fabulous displays that you've made. So have a look. I'm sure that you've seen these round about our corridors, but they are fabulous. You are superb artists. Look at all the different things. Some of them have got tinsel, some have got lights that light up, all about different films or Christmas themes or winter. I'm just so pleased they look lovely when you go around the school. Makes you feel very Christmassy when you see them all. Um, just you're all very clever. Look at all of these wonderful displays. And did you find the secret elf that's hidden in each of the displays? If you haven't, you can go around and have a little look and you might be able to spot the elf that's hidden in each of these. Have a look as well at room 15 so with all the quotes and see if you can match them up to the Christmas jumpers. So well done to everybody and a special round of applause for all your teachers and support staff who helped you to make such superb displays. Well done to everybody. Now we're moving on to Makaton and it's sort of a rub your knuckles together one and it's to show for brother. And we're going to look at the little video clip for that as well so it's brother. Can you try that just now? Do it, brother. Well done. Now, our language for the month is still German, and we've been learning to say your name, you've been learning to count, and you've learned how to say that you're feeling okay or not so good. So we've got all of these, and Germany is a lovely time in December as well. Lots of Christmas markets, you will see round and about, and we have got some in Hamilton and in Glasgow in the city centre as well, that you can visit and you can see lots of German food and drink to be tried lots of little heart-shaped biscuits that are made of gingerbread and iced, some gingerbread icing um, on the cakes and they all look so pretty. So you can try that. Can you remember? Let's try to say what your name is. The question is, wie heißt du? And you can say, ich heiße, and then you put your name. Can you repeat that just now? Ich heiße Mr. O'Donnelly. Sehr gut. Let's try counting to ten. Ein, zwei, Drei, vier, fünf, sechs, acht, sorry, sieben, acht, neun, zehn. Well done. So now you can count to ten as well. And remember, the question was, wie geht's? How are you doing? And you could say, sehr gut, or nicht so gut. So you can try, sehr gut is so good, nicht so gut, not so good. Okay, you can try that just now as well. Now, well done to everybody for learning about Article 23, which was the article that we were focusing on for November. And you've heard all about it in each of our weekly assemblies. And the rights bears are awarded to, can we have a drum roll please? For the ground corridor, it is going to be room 7. And for the upper corridor, it is room 14. So well done to each of you. You have done really well with that and the rights respecting bears will make it along to your classroom today. Okay, here are Rosie and Rick and they are going to be joining room 7 and room 14. So well done again to room 7 and 14. The bears will be making their way to your class. Now let's have a look at the article of the month for December. It's article 26 and it says my family should get the money they need to help me help bring me up okay and government should help families in need of extra support okay so we're thinking about this one it's quite a tricky one to think about but it's to make sure you have enough to be able to bring you up nice and healthily and safely so this is one that you might want to think about things that we do as a school 
to help families and I know that today all of the donations are being collected for the food bank and that's something that we do to help families that maybe need an extra helping hand around about in the community. So have a wee think in your class and see if you can think of any other ways in which families might get some extra money or some support or help. So Article 26. Okay, now you are in for a treat because in room seven, they have been doing some fantastic learning all about COP26 and the global goals. Now, they didn't only look at number 13, climate action. They have been learning about lots of the global goals. And what they've done is they've put together a little video and we are going to send it off to Nepal and they are going to see about some of the things that they have been learning. So. Turn your listening ears on and get ready to find out about some of the global goals in Room 7. Welcome to Room 7, Permit 2 3. We are, we've been learning about COP26 and climate change. Our world has been heating up because of climate change. Fumes from cars are fumes from cars and motorbikes are heating up our world. Um, to stop, to help, no, to help stop climate change, we have to stop cutting down trees. Don't throw plastic or it might end up in the ocean. Use yes. bikes and scooters instead of cars. Top 26 was a meeting with We Are All of the World Leaders team together to talk about what we can do to stop climate change. Top 26 is happening in Glasgow, Scotland. Global goals are what everyone one, uh, is trying to achieve. Global goals are important to create a better world to live in. Global goal 14 is about life underwater. Global goal 14 is important because global goal warming is heating up the ice. We need to help the polar bears and stop global warming. And polar bears will have nowhere to live. We have been learning about global goal six. What is the right to have clean water? Global goal six is important because we have the right to clean water. Some tiles don't have clean water and are not able to stay healthy. We are using a filter to clean the water for the child for, from the mud kitchen. If we don't have clean water, we will get sick. We have been learning about Global Goal 15, Life on Land. Global Goal 15 is important because we need to protect animals, plants and people. In some parts of the world, people are cutting down trees to make paper and to have farms and houses. If we keep doing this, there will be no oxygen left and the animals will lose their homes. We need to stop cutting down trees so we are safe. We need elephant masks to remind us to save the elephant home. Good morning. We are here as your junior road safety officers and we're here to remind you of a very important message. Be safe, be seen. It's getting colder and darker on our journeys to and from school and it's very important to stay safe. Only one way to do this 
is to wear bright reflective or fluorescent, fluorescent clothing when you travel. What can you do to keep safe? Fluorescent material that shows up bright during the day. Reflective strips that show up in car headlights when it's still or dark. Look at the picture, which one is the safest? Have a look have a look in your class to see which one you think. Is it A or B? On Friday, during Play 31, we'll be visiting the primary six and seven classes to present a quiz. There are lots of excited prizes to be won. Our younger class competitions will follow on soon. Thank, Thank you. you. Good morning everyone. We are exceptionally pleased with everyone who's worked on Polite this week and we've noticed a big difference with the, polite and the, man the politeness and the manners in the school but we're going to stick with it for one more week. The winning house is, drummer please, Seal. Yay! Well done Seal, you can collect your prize from your teacher. If you're running out, you can come down to Mrs Prentice and I will give you some. So well done and thank you captains. Good morning boys and girls, happy Friday. Uh, oh wow, it's the first Friday of December. So it's the first Friday of the month of Santa and all that and Christmas and everything. Like very excited, very excited. Anyway, we have some awards for you today. So I'll read them out to you. First of all, a big well done from a girl in Miss Moffat's class who has been demonstrating enthusiasm during her song and dance practice. So well done to you, Chloe Carlin. You're an effective contributor. Fantastic. Now, Miss Pinkerton has given this award, not to one person, but to all of Room 6, and that's for making a fantastic film to show all your COP26 learning. So Miss Pinkerton's very proud of you, and so are we. Well done to Room 6. And Miss Young, Miss Young, you're very proud of Rizal, and so are we, because Rizal has been working very hard on his subtraction with, within numeracy. So fantastic, Rizal, you're a successful learner. Another successful learner, and nominated by Miss Leyland, is Charlie Park. Charlie, you've made massive improvements with your reading, which was already very good. So you're doing extremely well, and we are all proud of you. So boys and girls, can we give a round of applause, please, to our award winners? Thank you, thank you. And we're going to move on to our going for gold. Now, boys and girls, if you have been given... A gold award this week, if you're given a gold sticker, I would like you to stand up in your class. Make yourself seen. Stand proudly. Let's see your proud faces. Well done. Guys, can we give them a round of applause? Well done, you guys. Well done. Just wait for Mrs. Prentice to move <laughs> on to the next slide. Thank you, Mrs. Prentice. Now, this is worth waiting for. Do you know, Jack has been doing extremely well in his boxing. And he has managed to win a trophy. If you zoom, I don't know, it's not a trophy, it's actually a cool medal. So if you zoom right in, Mrs. Prentice, that's it. Once you don't knock it to Chloe, that's fine. Can you see? Well done to you, because I know how difficult it is to get a medal in boxing. Don't just give them out for nothing. So well done, you, mister. And Chloe, she's looking super proud. And no wonder she's super proud, because she scored her first goal for her football team. And that's something to be very proud of. So, well done guys, you're achieving and we are proud of you. Well done. Mrs Prentice, you can move on. Well done Mrs Prentice, you're getting the hang of this. Now, joyful jokes, joyful jokes. We have got some crackers today. So I want you to sit back, relax and enjoy our jokes for the week. What do you call, so what did you say, what do you call someone who pretends to like pasta? The impasta. The impasta, love it. In an oven. I don't know. What do you call an octopus in an oven? Octopi. Octopi. Very good. Can I go oh, we've got some more. Why did the cow get into the rocket? I don't know. Because they wanted to go to the moon. <laughs> good one. Knock, knock. Who's there? Interrupting cow. Interrupting. <gasps> ah, good one. Excellent. Anyone else? What do you call a rain... What do you call a deer in the rain? I don't know. What do you call a deer in the rain? A reindeer. Very good. Excellent. <laughs> Mission, give a joke. No. Thank you. What kind of dinosaur loves to sleep? 
I don't know what kind of dinosaur loves to sleep. A stegosaurus. A stegosaurus. Oh, very good. Well done, Archie. That's a great joke. Thank you. Take a bow. <laughs> what's, he, what's he call a gorilla wearing headphones? What do you call a gorilla wearing headphones? Anything you like. They can't hear you. <laughs> good one. <laughs> Favourite drink? I don't know. What's an alien's favourite drink? Grava tea. Good one. What's a musician's favourite fruit? I don't know. A banana. <laughs> Very good. What's the pi pirate's favourite shop to go to? I don't know. A pirate's favourite shop. Oh, God. Good. <laughs> okay, we talked about the food bank earlier in the assembly, but this is just to say a huge big thank you for all the amazing donations that you have sent into school. They really will make a huge big difference to lots of families round and about Hamilton. Today they are all going to be collected and they will be dropped off at the food bank. Now we have some lovely cards here and I have got them all in a poly pocket here as well. And I know some classes have done this which I thought was really nice. And these are just little Christmas cards to all the volunteers who work in the food bank and what Room 8 have done is they have done lovely little letters just to say thank you because all of the volunteers who work at the food bank do that just because they want to help and they want to make a difference. So that was a really nice thing to do just to say thank you. So a big huge well done to everyone in St John's for being so kind. Now the next thing we're going on to is the litter poster competition. Now a couple of weeks ago this was set as a homework task for primary 4 to 7 and if you are looking very closely at the screen you will notice who the four winners are from St John's and they have been selected to go forwards for the South Lanarkshire competition. So a big huge well done to Sylvia in room 15, Ishan in room 15, Erin in room 9 and Sophie in room 15. And here are their amazing litter posters. So we've got Don't Pay the Price, Keep Our World Nice. Fantastic. Some great slogans and great pictures here. And here is Sylvia's. Recycle today, help our earth. So that's all about putting things into the right bins. So well done. And here is Ishan's. You are the only cure for the litter. Okay, and you can see the class pans in the middle and the nice recycling signs here. And like this slogan, slam dunk the junk. Okay, that's another fabulous one. So a big huge round of applause to the winners and thank you to everyone who entered. All of your posters will be going up round the school. Okay. Now we are just moving on to our last slide of the assembly and I know we have definitely had some birthdays this week in the school. I know it's been Mrs Hope's birthday and I think we've had lots of boys and girls as well. So if it has been your birthday this week, could you stand up in your class and everyone will give you a big round of applause. Happy birthday everyone. Hope you all have a lovely weekend and we will see you on Monday.